Welcome to the video series documenting the construction of life-sized hoverboard replicas. This is the rising sun. If you own one of these well-engineered kits, this video will instruct you on preparing the CNC MDF deck, applying the precision cut vinyl decals, trimming, cleaning, and painting the resin detail components, and the final section of this video shows you how to assemble all the parts into your own personal hoverboard. The full kit consists of this MDF deck, hand cast resin detail underside components, and professionally produced vinyl decals. Let's first address the MDF deck. These decks are professionally CNC machined from the highest quality medium density fiberboard. You can leave the Rising Sun deck as is, or you can bevel the edges on a router. For this video, I chose to leave the edges flat. Apply this primer to both sides of the deck where needed. It's critical to allow this primer to set overnight to achieve the best results. The Rising Sun deck is actually red on the top half and white on the bottom half, so you need to mask off the top from the bottom. You now only need to paint the red half of the deck. Wet the deck down liberally with Windex, which will allow you to adjust the decal as needed for a perfect placement. After you've inspected all the edges and removed any trapped air, dry off the board and decal with the paper towel and repeat these steps on the opposite side. Your deck is now complete. Let's move on to resin trimming and painting. Because the edges of the clamps are thin, you may need to bend them back flat if they were stored unevenly. Do this by applying some heat. The parts will naturally reshape back to their original flat position. Primer and polish is necessary to prepare for painting. The outer side clamps are silver and the middle brick is white. Here's a painting guide that will assist you with the proper colors.
you can either paint the magnet silver, or you can use these special metallic vinyl applications, which produces a cleaner appearance. They are sold with the kit for only a few extra dollars. Make sure to paint the edges of the foot pad white. Each hoverboard utilizes a foot strap, which is made from a piece of one inch webbing. Use the Kills primer we previously used earlier on the wood decks to prime the foot strap, then paint. Here we go with the final assembly. Start by adhering the side clamps into these positions. You can use super glue or hot glue. Line up your clamps and magnets into the proper location. Drill pilot holes for all these locations and use screws to secure everything into place. Here's your fully finished, fully detailed, life-size hoverboard. Congratulations! Check these other links to see the other hoverboards. Thanks for watching.